All right, so we're back here with the Android app for the DGT Pegasus. And um, well, for my limited testing that I've done so far, I can say it's just like the uh, Apple app, which means that it's good. So to me, this is a really good thing because if you think about what comes, you know, uh, from new people being introduced to something new every day, because think about it, it's somebody that never played with a chess e-board today. Today was their first time doing it and tomorrow will be the same thing. And down the line and every day that comes up, it'll be new people introduced. So if you have a good product and coming straight out of the box, everything that the manufacturer or the designer made, which includes the app, it's that experience that they get when they first come out of the box may determine their tone and their likeness to your product. So I think that by them doing a very good job up uh, just build, rebuilding this um, app from scratch has done a lot, not only for the community, but for new people that will be introduced. So that's it. I'm going to just play a quick game online uh, with a random opponent here. I'm going to do a 10 plus uh, 5 game. And uh, let me play white, unrated, and let's go ahead and hit play. So while I'm waiting on this, I will say that um, the 5 plus 5 game option um Seems to only work when you're playing with a computer here. I wonder why that's happening here. Oh, there we go. Um, but when you're playing against a human, you have to play at least, um, I think it's enough, I think it's, how, I forget what it says, it's something like 40 moves within eight minutes or something to that effect. So, um, you know, th that's why we don't have a 5-5, five, five, but I have played 5-5 five, five games in other apps and you can look at those games in the pinned comment. How they became 5.5, five, I'm not sure, but um, either way, um, hopefully one day 5.5 five can be implemented on this right here, but it doesn't violate any sort of policy. Um, another thing is that you can see the time on the Android apps. So um, while you can't see the full, like for example, just view the clock by itself, you still can see the clock when you're playing with the board on the screen. So what that means is that it's still they're still in a uh, going to resolve that issue at some point where you can just can see the clock only, and you should see a screenshot of that on the screen right now, just what it would look like. Um, but but getting back to the app within itself, I mean it's you know again based on my testing, um, it performs um, as expected and um, haven't had any issues. Uh, so far. So with that out of the way, let me go ahead and pay attention to the game. Let's talk about the game a little bit. So let's see what my opponent is up to. I don't think, I think he played, he takes, okay. So now what I do here, what you normally want to do here in this case is just go ahead and go, some people will go um, C3 first, but I think going A4 first, I mean knight to C3 first, but I think going to A, um, a4 first is the best move. And now a tricky move that's going to come. Let's see. Okay, that's not half a bad move, actually. So let's uh, see. Can we? Let's do this here. Because if I get a knight to E2, it'll put a little pressure on that... Um, Okay, he takes, okay. See, yeah. So what I was trying to do is if I get a knight on the, you know, on D2, I mean, now the C4 pawn is being hit and it's kind of hard to protect that pawn actually. I mean, within a reasonable means, you know, cause again, that's not terribly reasonable what he's done. And um, because, you know, what's really gonna happen here is that first of all, I'm gonna go, let's see, I'm gonna go here. Let me open the screen back up. I'm going to go here and attack that pawn first. He's probably going to go ahead and push. Um, yeah, I, I thought he was going to do that there. That's, that's, um, um, I'm going to say, I want to say, okay, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and push up here first. This is sort of a tricky move here, what I'm about to do here. I wonder should I do this? 
Yeah, this is somewhat of a tricky move I'm about to play here. Because if he doesn't play this right, he could almost uh, lose the game like right here on the spot if he doesn't play this right here, right? All right, so now he's taking that and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this here. So he takes. And that a tricky move, uh, what, what I could play here is knight to E, um, what I wanna say is knight to um, E5, but I don't know, it'll cause a lot of complications by the way. I don't know if I really wanna do that just yet. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll I'll just go ahead and take this away, just to keep everything simple here. Okay, so he hmm, he pulls the bishop out. Now that I did not expect. That I did not expect. So I'm gonna go here. Because I know he wants to take that pawn. That's totally okay. He can take that pawn. That is totally okay. If he wants to take that pawn. Because we take the pawn, I believe. Okay, he okay. So he goes here. So now what I'm gonna do is. Should I take this first? Because that that's the tricky bit. Should I go ahead and take this? Yeah, let's go ahead and take this first. Take that first. Take that first. Queen takes. And now, I think he might have just lost his queen. So that's why I say when you get all these exchanges going down, um, you could really, and he can go take pawn. So that's like a blunder within itself right here as well. Well, I take his queen. Well, no, if I do that, hmm. Should I just go ahead and take his queen now? Or should I take the rook? Because if I take the queen now, he'll still have three pieces. Then I have to move my queen, and I really don't want to move my queen. I'll tell you what, yeah, I'll take his queen. I, I, because I could just take both of his rooks, because I would have put him in check by taking one rook and then taking the other rook as well. So, but either way, he's lost. I'm, you know, I'm gonna just go ahead and take this here. You know, stop him from castling right here for a second because he can't castle. He loses knight, and then I'm gonna probably bring my rook down. I'm threatening his other pawn. He pushes here, which I don't really care about. That I'm just gonna go ahead and go here. Take that. They just kind of pile up on that knight somehow or another. Yeah. We'll go ahead and uh. We'll go ahead and go here because now I'm just threatening to take the knight. Actually, he's going to lose a piece right here no matter what he does. So, yeah, that's why I told you that one move, uh, that B4 move I made, uh, it's, it, it's, it, when I say it's tricky, it's not like setting a trap or anything, but if you don't play those exchanges right, it can really put you. <clears throat> put you in a bind <clears throat> um so with that said um that, that's the demonstration of it online since that game was relatively quick i'll tell you what we'll do we'll we'll back up and um let's just play a really quick computer game online i'm just going to play um just to verify that works i'm just going to play like a on level one really fast and just see um just just see how that goes Set this board back up here. Put that back over there. Yeah, I really like this outside here. I don't. I think this is going to work kind of well for me here, and um, we'll see how this right here goes. And hopefully everything goes pretty well. And um, so let's just um, back up. Go to play computer. I did play level three earlier, but since I want to just try to hopefully this will cut the video kind of short. But I'll do five three, and hit um, play. Hopefully, you know, we can keep the time of the video down so you want to watch the whole video. And with that said, um, one last thing I want to say is that I really want to do a uh, play a game from my friends list. So if you're watching this video, send me a friend's request and um, 
And uh, maybe one day, because uh, again, if I catch some people online, I'm going to try to make a video. So if I catch you online, I send you a friend's request and you decide to play me. Not only will you get to play me, but you will also be featured in one of my videos. So hopefully one of y'all want to do that and try it out. Um, see how that goes. Man, this guy is going for the throat. Let me see, can I trick the computer? I'm going to try. He level one. Let's see what happens. Oh, dirty. Let's push that up there. He backs up. I'm going to do the old, the okie doke right here and see what happens. See if he let me have a check on our H5. Uh, I think he did. Let me see. Go ahead and check here. But that's still somewhat tricky because if he push up, okay, so he goes here. So I'm gonna just go in here and go. Um, everything is good. Let me go check here. Okay, he does not take, which is which is good for us because actually this may even be losing here. Yeah, this is mate. Let me, let me check. Check, check. I, I, I shouldn't even take the, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and take this way. I believe, because he's going to go, if he go over, he's going to have an out on our D6, but I think, yeah, so I think that's that should be the game, right? Yeah. Yep. So that's it. That that was level one. So that, that's the kind of game you'd expect. But it was good for demonstration just to show you that you can play the bots online and you can play another human online without any issue. And there you have it. So with that said, um, appreciate you guys stopping by watching the video. There will be more to come with this app. There's many more things that's going to be added to this app and updated that I'm going to demonstrate and test out for you all. So uh, just Check out uh, all my links in the description, my pinned comments if you want to help the channel out. You guys take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.